Hello friends, welcome to the example presentation for the Young Kalpana Contest. You can find more about the Young Kalpana Contest in the description below. I am Anisha and I study at Ryan International School, Ghazibad. Let's watch a presentation by Reva from Ryan Vasant Kunj. She has chosen cardiologist as a future profession. Over to Reva. Hello everyone. Today, I, Reva Pathak of Ryan International School, Vasant Kunj, would like to talk about my dream career of being a pediatric cardiologist. So let's find out how it all started. Around five years ago, my grandfather suffered a massive heart attack. His condition got serious and we were all worried, especially me as I was really attached to my granddad. It was a cardiologist who with his timely intervention was able to save his life and got us out of the pain of losing him. That day as a 10 year old, I promised myself that I would save lives and bring happiness to people. Clearly I wanted to pursue a career in cardiology. When I dug deep into my dream career, while searching, I realized that I was more attached to children as they're unable to express themselves. And so I connected the dots and figured out that I want to become a pediatric cardiologist. A pediatric cardiologist is a doctor who specializes in treating children from fetal period through adulthood with conditions related to heart. It's their responsibility to work closely with primary pediatrician to provide comprehensive care. As children are not just small adults, their heart conditions are very different. For instance, a rare birth defect or maybe a hole in the heart. A pediatric cardiologist must have excellent communication skills and compassion like any other doctor to relate well to their patients and their families, but especially as they have to deal with distraught parents who take decisions for their kid. As a cardiologist, I will have to keep up with the latest innovations and technologies like ventricular assist device that is an excellent bridge to heart transplantation. And the next are pacemakers and defibrillators that are very useful, especially for a pediatric cardiologist as they work for younger patients. And those with congenital heart conditions can now be cured without an open chest surgery. Isn't that wonderful? Well, when I started working towards my goal, I got to know that India has some very eminent cardiologists like Dr. Rajiv Agarwal, Dr. Salim Yusuf, Dr. Naresh Trehan, and Dr. Rajesh Sharma, who is an excellent pediatric cardiologist. Someday, I hope to join the league of these wonderful doctors. A few tips for any successful career are, make study plans, plan realistic goals, and most importantly, ace time management. Well, does your heartbeat to become a pediatric cardiologist too? Here is how we can plan our journey. After completing 10 plus two with science stream, appear for the national eligibility entrance test, commonly known as NEET. It is basically a qualifying entrance test for MBBS, that is Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Science. It is a professional degree after which you'll become a doctor. After completing five years of MBBS, get the admission in PG courses. Depending upon your interest, you can either go for MD or MS degree, that is Doctor of Medicine or Masters of Surgery. I want to become a pediatric and so I would go for MD degree. After two years of MD, go for the super specialty course in DM Cardiology to become a pediatric cardiologist. Some of the top universities I am aiming for are Ames, Harvard University and John Hopkins. It may be tough to get your foot in the door and it is indeed a long process, but with hard work, passion and dedication, you'll get there in the end. To end this, I would like to say, remember, the chapter you're going to learn today is going to save someone's life tomorrow. Thank you. Wow, this was interesting. I find it really impressive to see how Reva's personal experience and her passion towards children helped her to choose such a challenging career. I'm sure she will be on the study desk for long hours. Her presentation had a clean design and a perfect storyline. Also, she was speaking with the right speed and it was easy to follow her. We can easily make out that she practiced her speech very well. Friends, now it's your turn. Get out there and make some amazing presentations for the Young Kalpana Contest. 
friends if you like the video don't forget to give us a like comment or share thanks for watching bye